on Hannibal in the Alps, 2018 film, 7 August 2024 viewing. So I actually put this on hold before I read the biography, Hannibal, Rome's Worst Nightmare, and did a book slash reading notes video on that book. Um, but this is the same guy, the guy who was born in Northern Africa and was a military dude for the Carthaginian Empire. So it's the same guy. And there's a, so essentially, here we go. Um, so I'm Tans Corley Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. And this is notes for my Wednesday, 7 August, 2024 viewing. I watched the first three. So this and the other two, um, Mamma Mia and Hotel Rwanda, I watched them all yesterday. And then I might watch but take the lead today. So I'm um, the uh, watch doing a bunch of taking a break and reading yesterday and today and getting the movies watched so then I can still make sure to get movie notes videos to you. So this, this is a is it, it's a day delayed this video um, but some of the others at least the next two will be more delayed depending on if I watch yes well not that one not depending but yeah then the delay period for the take the lead 2006 film one will be Dependent on whether I watch it tonight or not. And so the description I came up with for this one is, is a nonfiction film about piecing together and physically tracking the path Hannibal Barca of the Carthaginian Empire took through the French and Italian Alps, utilizing modern scientific understanding and ancient texts. So yes, so essentially it's biographical in the sense of it's putting together this guy's life story, right? He's the one who led this long military trek through modern day France and Italy and other regions as well. But, um, and took a bunch of soldiers and animals and stuff as well. And so essentially this happened and it was documented in ancient texts. And so it was like, well, let's use modern science to see if that can still be confirmed with modern science. Because if something that has happened and has been documented, all of a sudden something comes along and says, that didn't happen that's not so then there's a problem all right because it did happen so um essentially it's taking science and they i like this one i'm a geologist and have my bachelor of science degree in geology and so they invoke geologists i'm they they get people who look at soil and like the soil layers and i was as a sedimentology kind of person specific person and i was more focused on uh, of, of the three rock types i was if the metamorphic sedimentary and igneous i was in the igneous world so uh, in watching this i i have appreciation for what they do because it's not what i did right. um nor do i do at least currently so there's appreciation to it in that in that bit as well minerals play an important role though and i did do mineral work um, including growing minerals um yeah but i was thinking the uh, lesson here and i'm not gonna put this in my covid 19 pandemic uh, playlist but it is I've seen that in my lifetime is something will be true at the time and something will be lived and then after the fact it gets revised and kind of spewed a different way and so it's kind of like with the COVID-19 pandemic all right right now there's still an agreement that there was a pandemic but you know there was like some at the time is there really a pandemic you know is there really a virus it's like how long until DNI evidence confirms that COVID-19 was not real and there was no pandemic all right that's, that's the concern for stuff that has happened, is how long until somebody comes up with some sort of scientific evidence that says it wasn't true when in reality it was. So this is a good study in the sense of they found scientific results that were consistent with the at the time documentation, so at the time texts. So if DNA evidence comes along later, say for the COVID-19 pandemic and shows that no, it's not true, that all that documentation at the time is wrong, well, that's not true, right? So how do we get rid of that DNA, right? The DNA technology is notoriously unreliable and racist and that kind of stuff. So it's not really well-founded to begin with in that sense. Um, but it would still need to be what, expelled from uh, being a reliable source of documentation. Right? Um, so, and I, how to do that on like social or infrastructural levels that's beyond my understanding right um, but it was, it was interesting in that sense and then yeah and so it's biographical right it piecing together a part of a man's life but it was also other people's and other animals lives as well and i guess and i guess they didn't find any peanut shells so the elephants didn't get peanuts 
what was that long ago? So in case you forgot, Hannibal Barca of the Carthaginian Empire was born, what was it, 247 BC. So centuries before Jesus Christ came along. So there we go. So then my movie notes on Hannibal in the Alps, 2018 film, 7 August 2024 viewing, and I'm filming this Thursday, 8 August 2024.